and welcome back to Gyro Trips TV. I'm Dayton Dabs, and this is the Gyro Hanger. We're fortunate in the United States to be able to fly almost anywhere we want, as long as we follow a few basic rules. The FAA controls all of the airspace in the country and assigns classes to separate types of airspace. Each class of airspace has certain requirements that a pilot must meet before flying in that airspace. Airspace classes are published on sectionals, or pilot's version of a roadmap. For instance, say you wake up one morning and the weather's perfect for a cross-country flight from Austin, Texas to the beach in South Padre, Texas. Sounds like fun. But before you go, you'll need to check a sectional to see which classes of airspace you'll be flying through. Some classes of airspace are basically uncontrolled and allow the pilot almost unlimited freedom, while other classes are highly regulated and have specific rules for entering and exiting. In addition to airspace classes, the FAA also assigns special use airspace, such as military operations areas, or temporary flight restrictions, also referred to as TFRs, to allow airspace for special security purposes for, say, the president visiting town or maybe a natural disaster. Understanding airspace it can be confusing at first, but like learning a new language, it slowly begins to make sense. Everything you need to know about airspace is covered in gyro pilot training. So back to the original question, can I fly my gyro anywhere I want? Pretty much as long as you fly by the FAA airspace rules. For Gyro Trips TV, I'm Dayton Dabs. See you next time on the Gyro Hanger.